everybody, welcome to episode 67 of Build That House with me, Jim. You know, I hope you enjoyed episode 66, a little ice skating in there over the holiday season with my daughters, very festive kind of Canadian thing to do and uh, uh, that's kind of fun. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the building inspector to get here. He's gonna check out the roughed in plumbing and you know, the sewer pipes and we all know so much about and that radon rock level that I've been shoveling for the last month. So until he gets here, uh, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at what I have to do around uh, this property every couple years. And I have something I call the mega hedge. It's a cedar hedge, it's behind me. And I trim it every two years. It's about 200 feet long. Some parts of it are 16 feet high. It's an immense uh, thing to have to tackle. I've been doing it for 20 years now, so to say that I love it would be a bit of a stretch. To say that I've gotten used to it might be a little bit more palatable. But uh, check this thing out. It's just outrageous. It takes me probably like 20 hours to do. Then you gotta load up all the clippings and take them to the compost place that I took you to that day. Uh, but man, it's a mega, mega project. Check it out. You can see I start down there. I've got to eventually go way up top. And I literally walk along the top of the hedge. So it's absolutely crazy stuff. And then you can see what I've done here. I'm just working my way down the line. And I mean, look at this thing. It's just absolutely a mega hedge. It looks fabulous when I'm done. I kind of castle wall it, you know, step it down, plateau it. But anyway, I'm used to it at this point. So taking a little break from the house today and get to tackle this project for a little while. It's quite, quite the thing. If, now, if that didn't bore you and made you, uh, made, make you click away or go on to the next YouTube video, I don't know what will. So it's a true test to uh, how invested you are in my uh, channel here. Anyway, thanks again for everything, you guys. I'm up to 69 subscribers. It's been a totally, a totally good time for me to do this. I work by myself 99% of the time. It gives me a chance to talk to you and uh, bring you along into my life. And uh, that means something to me. Thank you so much. All right, so I just popped the hole in that sewer pipe, drilled a little hole. Now all the water that I filled the, the roughed in sewer system up with is pouring out of there. And if the temperature should drop to minus 10 or something, that water won't freeze and expand in all those beautiful pipes that I've so carefully put into position. And uh, it won't wreck the whole system. But look at that pressure just pouring out of there. Well, we're here at the uh, the brush place where you take all your brush, and um, 
We just about got number one emptied off the truck. I'll be here four or five times for Mega Hedge. So see the clippings. Let's take a little rest. It's pretty tiring. Big trucks, tractors rather. Okay, the hedge is done. Has nothing to do with house construction, folks, but it has to be, it has to get done. Every two years, that is a mega job. I would hate to pay the bill to have that professionally done. Once that is over, we're gonna do insulation. Got a bunch of bundles there, another four there. An easy fun job. So unfortunately it wasn't much of an episode, I'm sorry, but this took a took a while, man. So uh, we'll get back to building house here real quick so uh, this probably won't get very many views but it is what it is it's a short one thanks for joining me and there is the other side of the mega hedge just goes on and on forever This tiny little bit left to do, a little bit on the front side, and I'm done. Thank goodness. For another two years, that was about 25 hours.